Hi everyone, Major here. Welcome back to tuning in to Steel Division Normandy 44. So I've just thought I'd go through the 7th Division, 7th Armoured Division Battle Group, the Desert Rats. And we'll start with Reconnaissance. There's a few interesting choices here. Because if you go to the uh, Stuart Recce, yep, you've only got the two guys. But you've also got the heavier machine guns associated with the Stuart Reconnaissance Vehicle which is going to give you range out to 800 and 600 metres respectively with a, H, with a HE value of 6 and 7 as against two Sten guns with a range of 100 metres. So I'm going to put them in there and especially when they have two star veterancy. Then we've got the option of the little Stuart honey tanks. Okay, they don't have great AP value, only AP value of 8. Frontal armour of 6 and, and uh, front, uh, side armour of 4. Yep, they can be limited. But in the reconnaissance phase A, they can be very useful mopping up some enemy infantry. Now, I myself, I'm going to go for the quantity rather than the um, quality. You can get a single Stuart with the two-star veterancy. I've gone for the two with the single star. Then in phase B, we've got the option of going for some more uh, Stuart reconnaissance or recce vehicles. I'm actually going to go for the four Stuart vehicles in phase A. And then in phase B, bring up a couple, a few Cromwells. Okay, got army, AP value 11, can be handy. You're not going to be able to take on a Tiger or a Panther head on. But if you use the speed that the Cromwell possesses, then you should be able to get around the sides. Or leave it in some bushes or in good camouflage have it fire uh, return fire only you may be surprised of what value you can get out of it infantry all right so with the desert rats we've got the reconnaissance vehicle uh sorry the command vehicle two star veteracy definitely take that and that's in phase a and i'll also get Sorry about that. Also get the motor rifles leader in the Stuart reconnaissance or personnel carrier. Then when we look down, we've got the desert rats themselves in the uh, white truck or white half track. Not a lot of heavy weapons there. If you look at the uh, the two Bren carriers, only going to supply a HE value of three. But then when you do get the Thompson submachine guns, you've suddenly at short range at 100 metres, you're putting out 12 HE. Not sure if I'll go for that, but what I am going to go for is you get down to the motor rifles. Don't have a lot of HE value with the two uh, Sten guns. You got a HV value of six. Then with the five Lee Enfields, you got the uh, HE value of two, but you get the petard. So you do have some anti-tank capability. So, but that's not until phase B. So in phase A, we'll get a couple of those. Phase B, then we can also have the option of getting some Vickers machine guns. Two-star veterancy, again, a must-have to put down some suppressing fire. Then in phase B, then we've still got more infantry with the Petards, the Sten guns, and the Lee Enfields, and a Bren gun as well. So combined arms, if you can keep them together with a command with a commander nearby or within the range of a commander, you're going to do, get good value out of that. So first of all, we'll get another leader. And then we'll get one of the infantry. And let's just check out the engineers. Flamethrower in a Bren gun carrier. Now, I suppose the difference with this Bren, uh, this uh, flamethrower crew, is that you compare it to some of the other nationalities, they only come in groups of two. So there's no really support fire to protect the flamethrower operator as they move in for the kill, so to speak. So we will get a engineer section. So that does our infantry. Tanks. Now, it is the 7th Armoured Division. It is the pride of the British Army, the Desert Rats. Um, so in Phase A, I suppose you've got no choice but then to go for the Cromwell 5. Got an AP value of 11. Frontal armour at 7, still at a distinct disadvantage when compared to uh, the German vehicles. So, but we will get one of those. Uh, Abbot of Chantry. Well, it's only another 
actually, I don't think I will get that. Look at the frontal armor on that. It's only four. You look at the Cromwell five, frontal armor at seven. So, okay, you get the one star vet receiver, but what good is that going to do you if your frontal armor is at such a disadvantage? We'll get the command Churchills to keep command and control. Uh, but that's not until phase B we can get those. So we might just get another two Cromwell fives in phase B. We've got Cromwell fives. We've got the Cromwell uh, four as the command vehicle. And then we will go for the Cromwell sevens. Yep, still got only the AP failure factor of 11. But look at that front alarm. It's been beefed up. So we'll get a couple of Cromwell sevens. Then in phase C, we've got Cromwell threes. Now that's back to the frontal armor of 11, somewhat restrictive and certainly a backward step from the Cromwell seven. So in phase C, we'll just go fireflies. And that's it for our tanks. In the support, I intend on having a bit of artillery. So we're going to need some Bedfords. Uh, phase B, we're going to need Bedfords. And depending on the mission, the Cromwell 6 with the 95mm howitzer to uh, destroy close-in infantry, maybe in buildings in a more urban environment with a HE factor of 13, and a range of 1,200 will certainly be handy, so we'll get those. And then we'll get some more Bedfords for later on in Phase C when there'll be the maximum potential of artillery on the field. Now, this SP auto car, well, it's got an AP factor of 11 with the uh, 75mm gun. It's got a high silhouette. It's going to be hard to conceal. Um, even infantry with a handheld infantry anti-tank weapon will be able to take these out quite readily. Frontal armour of 3, side and rear armour of 2. I'm not convinced I've got the uh, flexibility or longevity of life as I would say so when you look at the six pounder okay we don't get those till phase b but we get two of those oh sorry let's go back again with a single star veterancy vet, veterancy we get four uh, and we can get another two with the two star veterancy also in phase b we can start to bring out the achilles with the 17 pounder anti-tank gun you look at that ap factor of 16 frontal armor of eight so once again, it's a tank destroyer. You need to get your vehicles into the right positions to maximize your opportunities for good kills. Then in phase C, we've got the choice of going for more Achilles, or we can go for single star veterancy 17 pounders or two star veterancy 17 pounders. Uh, I myself, with the potential for the more mobile warfare, and ease of movement if you're getting bombarded and Achilles is going to last a hell of a lot longer than what a uh, anti fixed fixed or towed anti-tank gun will. Anti-aircraft, look the Staghound and the Crusader AA, slow traverse on both of them, limited range only up to 800 meters for one or for both. Uh, the Bofors Porty, um, that is the wheeled version of the Bofors to give it more flexibility and maneuverability out in the desert. That's probably the best we're going to get. So we'll get one of those and we'll get another two in phase B. In aircraft, we are well serviced here. I'll come back to the artillery. Uh, we've got the Mosquito for the photo reconnaissance. Very, very quick. Doesn't take a lot of firepower. Uh, doesn't take a lot of hits with it being an all, mostly all timber construction. For uh, fighter cover, we've got in phase B, we've got mosquitoes again. Then for uh, fighter bombers, we can also use uh, a mosquito pathfinder for the four 230 kilo incendiary bombs. That's probably going to give more value than the Spitfires dropping two 230 kilo bombs. We also have the option of a two star Mitchell bomber, which can drop 840 kilo uh, bombs, which once again will be very, very handy. So we'll get one of those in phase B and then we'll top up again with another two Mitchell bombers with two star veterancy in phase C. And I have spent my all my uh, activation points so well, I have nothing left for artillery. 
So let's go back and just see where I can crop back a little bit. Uh, I'm hesitant to do that there. Phase B will drop the two star vetrancy. Support, not fully topped up. Recon, fully topped up. Hesitant to get rid of the infantry because they do all your hard grunt work. Um, all right, drop one of the two Cromwells in support. Now, if I don't go heavy with artillery, I don't need all those support. So let's see what we can do in artillery. So phase A, we have the 50 mil or the two inch carriers. Good rate of fire, 15 rounds per minute. Um, but it's only a range of 700 meters, which means if the Germans or your opposition are bringing in 80 millimeter mortars, depending on where you place them, you're going to be well within counter battery range. So I'm going to hold just the two three inch mortars, 75 or it's the same equivalent of the 81 millimeter mortar, a lot better range, 1200 meters, 10 HE, a lot more effective. <clears throat> and I also would like to get a couple of sextants. Now, what I like about the sextants, yep, they have a drawback because they have a high silhouette, similar in some ways to the M7 Priest and the American battle groups. Uh, but the sextant can also be used in the AP role. So if, you ha if we have a look at their um, data sheet, 12 AP, 11 HE, range of 2400. Pretty serviceable. Where these are probably better than the 25 pounders, where the stats are exactly the same, is that the 25 pounder is towed. So if you have to quickly move it, you've got a little bit of time loss in hooking it up. Bren carrier is not going to move. What's the speed of a Bren carrier? 33 kilometers an hour. What's the speed of the Sexton? 28. All right. The Bren carrier is a little quicker, but what's going to take more readily going to take some a little bit of small arms fire is the sextant as compared to the uh, carrier. All right, so that's my battle group. Um, that's how I'm going to play. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, I hope I'll give you a few thoughts, maybe a few things to consider. Thanks for watching. And this is probably the first of a few that's going to come out uh, with the latest upgrade Gates of Hell. All right, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit the like button if you feel inclined. Until next time, this is the Major out. Bye-bye for now.